Hello, Gemini. Welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person you are thinking about or currently in a connection with at this time. We're going to look at how they are thinking about you. What are their feelings towards you? How do they view you or this connection? And what are their intentions towards you towards the future? And also we'll wrap it up with what they wish they could tell you that maybe they haven't told you. What message, you know, would they have for you if they could speak to you or if they could be honest with you? What's going on for Gemini in love? What's going on for Gemini in love? What's going on for Gemini in love? First card out, reconciliation. Do I want anything else? Swear, Gemini. I use um, different oracles <laughs> as much as I can. Oh my gosh, and of course, religious factors at the bottom of the deck. So we have reconciliation. Someone from the past is returning to your life. This could be a past life connection or someone literally from your past. And then I have deception. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. There could be somebody denying this connection, denying their feelings. Um, we'll see. Bottom of the deck is a religious factors card, which for me is a card all about spirit being involved in some way. Um, so we will see what that means. I'm not going to say it because, you know, it's still early. It's still early, Gemini. I'm not going to say anything. So let's jump right into the reading. Spirit, tell me who or what. Oh my God. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Who or what can Gemini expect in love? In love. What is going on for Gemini in love spirit? What does Gemini need to know? What is going on? Hold on. Can't get a hold of this deck is a little bit bigger, but I don't know. Usually it doesn't act this way. Okay. Tell me more for Gemini. Or tell me anything actually. <laughs> okay, let's see. What can Gemini expect in love? Wow, Ace of Cups and Strength, Leo Energy. Six of Cups, oh my God, this is going to be one of those readings, isn't it? Seven of Swords, okay, basically, Six of Cups, Seven of Swords are up there already. This is someone from your past. This could be a, someone from your childhood, someone that you dated previously or you just know from the past, um, or you've been together before. Could be a Leo, does not have to be. This deception um, energy, this seven of swords, I'm pick I'm literally picturing someone spying. Keeping tabs. We'll see. Tell me about strength. Uh, by the way, this is the Northern Animal Tarot. This is a beautiful deck. It is linked. Well, actually, I, I just have the link to the website in the description box if you want to know what decks I use. All right, tell me about strength. Why is strength here? Why is strength here? Four of swords, okay. Tell me more about strength. Ten of cups, the hangman. So the hangman and the four of swords, Ooh, the devil, Capricorn energy, seven of cups, oh my goodness. Okay, so when I see these two cards together, the Devil and the Seven of Cups, uh, I think of a wrong decision. Someone made the wrong decision here that got them into a bad situation. I'm also getting someone that's not seeing something clearly, and so they could be making a wrong decision here. But I think that this already happened for whoever this is that made this decision. This could have been you, Gemini, but I'm picking up that it could have very well be your person. Um, I have the hangman here, so I'm thinking that someone's seen something here, realizing something about this decision that they've made, especially because the Four of Swords is here. So it's a card about reflection, um, healing, thinking. You're not doing a lot of action here with the hangman and the Four of Swords. This is you getting perspective, seeing things from a different angle. And then I have the Ten of Cups. So this could be about someone, you know, realizing something about family, about what truly is fulfilling, what, what happiness is all about, etc. Um, we'll see. 
Oh my gosh, this deck. <laughs> Tell me about the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? I, mean, I kind of know, but tell me about the six of cups it's gonna be a very uh see someone walked away from the past here gemini eight of cups someone walked away from this connection in the past and i feel like they're returning very simple message it, 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 i mean there's only just one or two ways you can interpret this right tell me about the six of cups let me get one more please for the six of cups seven of wands hmm Seven of Wands is a card about courage, fighting back, standing firm. It's a card about resistance, you know, standing up against any challenge. And the Strength card is here. So maybe this is somebody that's um, getting their strength, um, becoming more firm in what they want, what they desire, fighting for what truly matters here. This could be you or your person, but I'm picking that this could be your person, Gemini. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Queen of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, Five of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles after that. The world. Interesting. Five of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Uh, this is, um, it, it could be something, usually when I see these two cards, I think right away of money, um, finances. But I'm also getting here, it's almost like someone has been far away, but still holding on. I feel like they're still hoping for a new beginning here. Or perhaps there hasn't been closure with the world. What's after this? Page of Swords. There's that observant energy, watching energy. I do feel like, like you're keeping tabs on each other. Three of Cups. Hmm, someone here wants to re reconcile, reunite. I'm really hoping it's not a third party, but the Seven of Swords is here, so I'm mentioning it. But what I see here with the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, it's almost like someone is, is standing firm, and I feel like they're fighting for a Queen of Pentacles energy. And to me as a reader, the Queen of Pentacles tends to already be in a commitment, but when she's not, she's the ideal partner. Like, she's the partner you want to have. They are stable, they are loyal, they're dependable. You can count on a Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, Queen of Cups and Page of Wands. Yeah, this is what someone wants. They're fighting for what they truly want, and I think that's you, Gemini. Um, and this is, I feel, happening after someone has walked away. There's love here, there's appreciation here with the Queen of Cups. Justice at the bottom of the deck, Libra energy. So I feel like this is someone that perhaps you know, they want to reconcile because maybe they're realizing what it is that they lost, you know, with the hangman, the four of swords and the ten of cups. They're realizing that maybe you're the one that makes them truly happy, that you are where love is. Something sweet and tender, six of cups, right? Why the seven of swords? Why is the seven of swords here? Why is the seven of swords here, Spirit? There's that Four of Cups. Okay, I mean, Four of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Can I get one more, please, for the Seven of Swords? Page of Pentacles. There's judgment. Yeah, there's a real, someone's having a realization here. Uh, this Hangman, Four of Swords, I feel it leads to some sort of an awakening, some sort of realization about the past. To a wand, someone could be making a new decision or choosing a different path, a different direction. Um, seeing what else is out there, but I feel like they're hesitating before they make this decision because the two of, of um, Wands is um, a card about two very different options or two very different paths So you could go either way, but they're totally different So you can't just I guess you have to think about what direction you really want to go go in, you know I feel like this is someone that, as they watch you, observe you, keep tabs on you, they've desired you, held on to you in some way. I have the page of um, pentacles, page of wands. So I feel like there's an offer here that someone wants to make. This is what they're thinking. They're not just thinking about watching you, Gemini, but doing something about this in a way. Tell me about the page of wands, page of pentacles. 
Can I go and sponsor the Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles, please? Where's the Page of Wands? Justice. Yeah, this is about making things right. This is a, a official decision of some sort. There's a Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, I feel like this is someone who's thinking about their other half, their partner, rebalancing something, making something right, doing what feels right. I feel like this is an offer that just is like the right thing to do for this person. Um, it's very interesting because the Seven of Swords also can be a card about uh, being strategic, being, um, you know, like playing it smart. And I do get the sense that this person could be thinking in that way because I don't really have any other cards here that give me pause, right? Like I'm usually the Seven of Swords. I kind of see what else comes out with that card to get the idea of the energy. But I don't really see any other cards here that make me feel like there's something off. So I think that this is someone who maybe they've had this secret desire, secretly have held on to you. Um, and you could have done this too, Gemini. What can Gemini expect? What can Gemini expect, Spirit, in the near future regarding this connection? What can Gemini expect in the near future regarding this connection? What can Gemini expect? Four of Cups and the Hermit, Virgo Energy. Well, unfortunately, what I see here is nothing. No, <laughs> no action here. I'm gonna keep it real with you, Gemini, because if it's not here in the in the cards, if it's not in the cards, I'm not gonna just say it, right? Like I don't work that way. Um, so here with the Hermit card and the Four of Cups, I'm thinking that this is someone who's still in the planning stages, still in the thinking stages. Maybe they're doing some reflection. I feel like this person's like far from you. Um, with the Five of Pentacles and the Hermit, um, they're away, you know. The Hermit has withdrawn alone. They're not around anybody. They're not in contact with anybody. They're on there doing their own thing, basically. And so I see the Hermit here with the Four of Cups. It's almost like this is someone who maybe is a bit guarded or a bit hesitant and the two of wands did come up so that makes sense to me um maybe this is someone that maybe they've 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 been through something because i have the four of swords here um let's see why is the hermit and the four of cups here i feel like there's um there's a pause here and that's not new for gemini's and you know i i <laughs> I feel like I'm sounding like a broken record, but there's a reason these things are happening. And there's a reason why these messages keep coming up in my channel. I feel it's because the Geminis that are watching this are still in that position. I don't think anything's changed for you, unless you want to tell me in the comments if something's changed, but tell me about the Four of Cups and the Hermit. Can I get one more for the Four of Cups and the Hermit? There's the world and the page of swords. So I feel like there's something here that's going to take place. Um, maybe this is someone that's thinking about what to say with the page of swords. Maybe this is someone that is closing a cycle in order to start a new one with the world. Um, at the bottom of the deck, I have the seven of pentacles and the three of pentacles. So they're working on something here. Um, yeah, 10 of wands. Uh, yeah, this person's probably dealing with something right now, Gemini. Um, I feel like this is someone like on a journey. The hermit is on a journey, a, a spiritual journey. They're soul searching. So I feel like this is someone that perhaps they've, um, they're wrapping up a cycle in their life or wrapping something up that I feel is still, there's, is still kind of, um, playing out here with the seven of pentacles. Now the seven of pentacles, typically this is a card, um, about kind of doing all of this work and then you kind of are just waiting. Um, you're waiting for the results. You're hoping for the best, but you're not sure with the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like this is someone who maybe they are closing a cycle and they're kind of waiting to see how that wraps up. But make no mistake, they're watching you or observing you or keeping tabs on you at this moment. And I, I have no doubt that there's some sort of reaching out that they're going to be doing with the Page of Swords, Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles. It's going to be small 
because the pages are small tokens of you know it's like a it's like a going out or a, or a call or something like that or a text but I think the energy is very clear which tells me this person knows already um, they already have I feel gone through the awakening or have had this realization I feel like now it's almost like when the the beginning stages of something really start to play out at least that's my hope um, so that's what I see for you, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed this short reading. Um, if you did, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing to see more readings from me. Um, thank you so much for watching, for your continued support. Uh, if this resonated, then of course, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from my Geminis. And um, I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.